It's Daryl's Innocent Living. So we're getting closer to the springtime. One thing you want to make sure you go and check is your seed packets. Make sure you got the variety that you want. We also want to make sure we take a look at them and see how old they are. In general, the older the seeds get, the less percentage of them will germinate. And when you're looking at the seed packet also, you want to look and make sure there's no moisture or water got on them. You know, a lot of times you may put your seed packets out in the shed. Over time, that moisture can get to it, or maybe it got a little bit of water or rain spilt on it. And those seeds were all, if the seed packet's all stuck together, the paper, there's a good chance those seeds have also absorbed that water and maybe started to try to germinate um, and then died out because it dried. So you want to make sure you check those seeds, seed packets for those two things. Make sure it isn't damaged. The seeds are still viable. And according to a study by the Colorado State University Extension, you can kind of divide up seeds into five different categories. And that's the number of years from the year that the seeds were packed. You know, it's, it's going to be on the back of the seed packet. So like after one year, you got the lettuce, onions, parsley. And up to two years, you got your corn, okra, and peppers. In three years, you got beans, broccoli, and carrots. In four years, beets, eggplants, and most of your brassicas. In five years, cucumbers and cantaloupes. But that's just a general, uh, a general indication of the older your seeds get, the less chance they're going to all germinate. The percentage of the germination um, will be lower the older they get in general. But there is one thing we can do is we can go ahead and test that uh, seed packet that we have. We can test it, figure out what the germination rate is going to be. Let's do that now. All right, so this will be a good test. This is Parrot Lettuce, Paris Island costs. This is from end of the year sell by 1231.18, so it's packed in 18. And it's been, what, four, five years almost. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So what we want to do, sprinkle some seeds out on this paper towel. We'll wet it. We'll put it in the uh, labeled bag. So what we'll do is let's make sure we go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so we got it marked. All right, so I got the paper towel, ringed it out. Somewhere in the middle, you want to take about 10 seeds. This is these little bit tiny lettuce seeds. Put, separate them a little bit. Two, three. So now we got these seeds in here. Right, you can kind of see I got the seeds in there. Now we're going to fold it over. You can actually just kind of roll it up. Place it in the Ziploc bag. Seal it up. So that's one, and I'm going to do another one. So this one has to be out to where it gets a little bit of light, because lettuce has to have light to actually germinate. If you find this content useful, do me a favor, subscribe, like that video, share it with your family and friends. Let's get back to the seed germination video. All right, so I'm going to do this 2018. This is a white Thomas old tomato. So again, we wet our paper towel, wring it out, let's get some seeds. We'll put 10 seeds across here. These are from 2018, so we'll see. They should be good, yeah, four years. And when I'm talking about the seed packets and getting moisture on them and all that, one thing I want you to be aware of is the seed organization system that I have. I'll uh, put a link down to that description. Check it out. You've seen me in, in the videos of those plastic four by six cases. It's, it's actually for photographs, but works great for seed packets. Um, check that video out down below. Same thing, you wanna fold it over. You can roll it up. We'll place it in this uh, Ziploc. And seal her up. 
Let's not keep all the moisture in. Okay, so what we're going to do with this one, we want to put it in a, a uh, dark location, 65 to 75 degree, so a cabinet or drawer works great. Um, again, the lettuce has to be put in a semi-shaded uh, area so it does get some light. So at the conclusion of that, we can calculate the germination percentage. So if eight of them are germinated, then you have 80% germination rate. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and see how our uh, seed germination test did. This one here, remember, is the Paris Allen Cost lettuce. It had 2018 date uh, that it was packed. This is a uh, white Thomas L tomato. It also had a 18, uh, 2018 uh, year packed on its pack, seed packet. So let's go ahead and take them out and see how they did. All right, so this is kind of the easy part. Let's go ahead and open this. This is that lettuce, Paris Allen Cost. Had a 2018 date. Let's open it up. Now, the lettuce can take, you know, anywhere from a couple days to um, up to even 10 days. So, kind of what I suspected. Looked like it trying to kind of want it to germinate. It's got a little bit of green. But it sure was not successful. Not the first one. So I'm going to make sure. This is again five year old um, lettuce. Not kind of not surprised that we didn't germinate any. I figured we'd get a couple. But again, it looks like it tried to. See, I just got the green coloring, but no dice. Regardless, uh, I'm going to throw that pack of seeds out. It's definitely not good. You're not going to have any success, so let's set that to the side. Let's go take a look at this white Thomas L. tomato. I think we're going to see a little different results here. It's five years old. 2018 as well. Look, you got one sticking out right there, huh? Look at that. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I look like I got eleven seeds here. Just make sure you can see it good. Looks like I got eleven seeds. This particular one did not germinate. The rest of them did. So this Thomas L tomato is really good to go still. Good germination rate. Um, seeing ten out of eleven. Uh, I'm just guessing ninety something percent. So it's it's pretty good germination rate. I could use those seed, seeds this spring. Just good to know and a good simple test to figure out what is the germination rate. Again, I'm gonna throw that uh, 2018 Paris Island Koss out. I'm gonna throw that white Thomasell back in. Hey, if you like this content, man, make sure you go and check out my spring garden uh, planning checklist. Set you up for the spring garden success. If you like the video, hey, do me a favor, subscribe, like that video, um, and share it with your family and friends. They don't wanna miss it. And as always, I will see you on the next video.